Well, with 88 days to Election Day, Clinton has about an eight-point lead on average in national polls. But the election is not decided by the popular vote. It's about winning enough states to get 270 electoral votes. And there, if the election were held today, Clinton would have a massive advantage. Most states are either reliably Republican or reliably Democratic. Anthony Salvanto, our director of elections, is here to tell us about the 11 states that could go either way. Well, Scott, let's take a look at those states. We call them the battlegrounds because they're usually the closest, the most contested. These go across the country here from Nevada, Colorado, all the way out to Pennsylvania, Virginia, and of course we always talk about Ohio and Florida. Well. If you look at the polling leads that Hillary Clinton now has, even in just some of these states, and we'll light them up here in blue to show you, she would today have enough electoral votes across those states to get over the 270 that she needs to get elected. What could Trump do to turn this around? Well, his path is in danger of getting very narrow. Let me show you. Let's suppose Donald Trump were to win Florida and Ohio. We'll light we'll those up in red. That still wouldn't get him enough to go over the 270 that he needs. He would also have to flip, let's say, Pennsylvania, a state where th that he was in today, to get him over that magic number, which tells you, Scott, that he still has a difficult road ahead of him. A tough hill to climb. Anthony Salvanto, our director of elections, thanks so much.